Hello and welcome to Spatula Bachelor. And this week I'm gonna show you guys how to turn your instant udon bowls into something really tasty and a full meal that you can get at any noodle shop. I'm gonna show you guys how to turn this little flake packet into a full and fresh addition onto your whole noodles. Now I'm also gonna show you how to make some really paper thinly sliced beef to add on top of this. I think it's the best kind of uh, meat addition you can have for your udon because it lets you taste everything without having big chunks of beef that you gotta break up. And I'm also gonna show you guys in the description how to make your own beef and mushroom soup base for this. Now these bowls, these uh, Nongshim uh, fresh noodle bowls, I got them at Costco, they're actually really, really good for the price that you pay. And I've been loving them, and I actually really like the soup base that comes with it, but I don't know what you're going to be getting out there. I know some of them are literally just packets of noodles with nothing in them. So I'm going to show you guys how to make soup base in case yours doesn't come with a really good one. So, even though these bowls are really great, you can always make them better. And I'm going to show you how to do that today. So, let's get cooking. Okay, so to start off we're going to make some paper thin beef slices. What you're going to want to do is freeze your beef first, then take it out and get a very sharp knife. And we're just going to cut very, very thin slices. You can try and do this with, uh, with fresh beef that's not frozen, but it's going to be a lot harder. By freezing it, you're going to make sure that it stays in little slices and doesn't break apart. You're also really not going to want to try and use a serrated knife, even though you do have to work the knife through the meat, just because a serrated knife will also probably break up your slices. But overall, it should be very easy to make nice, thin, almost see-through slices. And just let them thaw out before you start cooking them. Next, we're going to cut up some scallions. Just cut them up on the diagonal so they look nice and pretty, and you should be good. Next, we're going to cut up some seaweed sheets. Just start by folding them about three or four times, and then cut them into small ribbons. And then cut those ribbons in half if you think they're still too big. If you don't want to do any of this, you can really just break them up, but cutting them into ribbons does look prettier. And finally, we're going to cut up some carrots. Start by julienning them into thin straws, and then cut those up into tiny bite-sized bits. Oil up your pan, and spray it out with a paper towel to make sure it covers the whole pan. And then let it heat up on medium heat for about a few minutes. Once it's heated up, start placing your thin strips of beef in, and wash them closely because they're going to cook very quickly. After about a minute, you're going to see that the edges of your beef look cooked. Flip them over and let them cook for another 30 seconds, if that. You're probably going to want to use something better than the chopsticks I used. If you don't mind scuffing up your pan, you can use a fork or a spatula, or some tongs, really anything, is probably better than these chopsticks. Once you flip your strips over and pull them out of the pan, keep cooking the rest of your beef in small batches. You don't want to do too many at once because it will be hard for you to keep track of what's been cooked and what needs to be flipped over. Next we're going to cover up our udon noodles in some boiling water so that they separate apart. Most of the noodles you're going to find are already pre-cooked, so this is just to make sure that they break apart and aren't all in one clump. 
After two minutes, stir up your noodles to make sure that they're all separated. At this point, you can do two things. If you don't want to be fancy and you're not going to make your own soup base, you can just throw the soup base that comes with the noodles straight in and make your udon. If you want to be a little bit more fancy, or you're going to make one of the soup bases that I have in the description, go and strain out the water from your noodles. Once your noodles are all strained, add in your pre-made soup base and some more water, or add in the soup base you made. Then, give your noodles a stir to mix in the soup, and add in all of the toppings you want to. You can either dump them in all at once, or you can add them bit by bit like I did. Either way, it'll taste great. Once you've got everything in, try and get a bite of everything to get the nice flavor combination that we've made. And dig in! I hope you guys like these ideas on how to upgrade your udon. Some other things that you can add in to make it taste great are hard-boiled eggs, some fresh celery, mushrooms, or radishes. I've got these weird little gluten cracker things. They don't have a lot of flavor, but they soak up a lot of broth, which can make them taste good. You can try picking them up from the store if you see them while you're picking up all your other ingredients, but I wouldn't go out of my way. See you guys next week! And that is how to make a delicious udon bowl out of one of these normal uh, pre-made bowls. I'm going to show you guys in the description how to make a nice soup base, but I really like the soup base they give you already. It, overall, actually, this uh, Nongsim bowl is like one of the best bowls I've ever seen. Uh, definitely just on its base, it's really great. But by giving it these additions, it throws it up over the edge. And you can see that this is really nice and full, but I've still got a lot left over, over here. And just because I like to make it look pretty, I didn't put everything in, but definitely uh, as you eat, and you eat off the, the toppings, you're going to want to add in more, so don't worry if you have some extra when you make it. Okay, so... This is Spatula Bachelor. See you guys next week.